Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I am so excited for this video. I'm gonna be playing with the new Blend Bunny Cosmetics, the Dollhouse Palette. I'm so pumped. I fell in love with Blend Bunny Cosmetics last year when that Surge Palette launched. I lost my mind. I'm pretty sure I ranked it number two as my favorite palette of the year. I just love that palette. And then soon after that, she offered to send me the Blends Palette, which I also fell in love with. It became my ultimate rainbow palette. The formula is just so superb. I can't stress enough how real the hype is with this brand. And then she started teasing her Dollhouse palette. She kind of made it seem like it was gonna be her version of a neutrals palette. And I was very curious to see what she was gonna do with it because I was like, I don't see her doing 30 pans of brown. I just don't see it happening. And she blew my mind. The owner was so kind and did send this one to me as well. And I'm so appreciative. And I do have an affiliate code with the brand. You can use my code BattyBean to save 10%. I appreciate it very much if you use it. I'm gonna get into showing you the palette. I'm gonna get into swatches. I created the look that you see right here. It's all coming your way. I also do plan on doing an Instagram video slash TikTok very soon. So that'll be up at some point after this video. And I'll also do a two looks video as long as you wanna see it. I'm really excited to continue playing with this palette. Before we get into the details about the palette though and my look, let me give you my accessory details. My earrings today are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy and my necklace and ring today are from Ana Luisa. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about this palette. All right, are you ready to see? Oh, I'm so excited. If you haven't seen this before, your breath is about to be stolen. This is what she looks like so beautiful. This is such a beautiful take on a neutrals palette. It has such beautiful, dusty, and deep, almost florally tones. I love this. There is such a good range of light, medium, deep. The two rows of shimmers are so pretty. So many beautiful highlighty toppery shades and so many rich dimensional beautiful shimmers. I'm so excited about this. I find this to be so inspiring and she killed it. I'm so grateful that she sent this to me. I was definitely going to buy it if she didn't and I'm just so happy that I have this in my hands. I truly think this will potentially become like my go-to neutrals palette because it just has so many things that I want to gravitate towards. It has those grungy deep tones. It has lighter airier things. So many pretty shimmers. I love this color story. I could see myself taking this traveling this is amazing. I'm also really excited that there are two rows of shimmers in this palette because the original one didn't have any. The Surge palette had one row and this one has two and her shimmer formula is really, really good as well. So this makes me really excited. We're gonna get into my look now. I'm gonna show you how I created this. I love how it came out. And then at the end, I will give you, I guess kind of my final thoughts, even though I feel like you already kind of know how I feel as of right now, but I'll chat about it some more at the end. Okay, hi, hello. We're gonna dive into this palette and I am so excited, you don't even know. It's gonna be just so fun, I already have a feeling. Before we get into the eyes though, I did wanna let you know that I mixed kind of rouge and baby doll right here um, as my blush today and I really like it. And then I used uh, Pretend as my face highlight. And it's all so pretty, blended like a dream. Just had to throw that out there. Okay, I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I feel like this is the most controversial eye primer ever. <laughs> you either love it or you hate it. Gonna blend that out and then we are gonna get into these shadows. I have so many ideas buzzing around my brain. I think I know what I wanna do today, but things could change, we shall see. So I have to start with figure right here. That shade just made my heart melt when I first saw this palette. I'm gonna use my Blend Bunny B5 brush. I love Blend Bunny's brushes so much. The owner sent me a set when they first launched, and then I love them so much I immediately bought two more sets. So I have multiples of these brushes. I kinda wanna buy another set or two just so I have plenty at all times. This color is amazing. Holy cow. And it blended on its own, I didn't even have to try. I just put it on there and it was basically already blended. So next I wanna take Cinched, this beautiful purple. And this is gonna be kind of my in-between shade for all of the depth that I'm about to build up in my outer corner. I'm gonna start with my Blend Bunny B4 brush. And this is gonna go in my outer corner and I'm gonna start blending it through about half of my crease. I'm not gonna take this up too high though because I am gonna use another shade to help blend it out. And again, I'm gonna use another shade to deepen it as well. Again, this is like my in-between shade. So I'm just kind of tapping it in the outer corner, starting to carry it through half of the crease. I also want this shade to be smoked out on the outer half of my lower lash as well. Kind of sort of something like that. All right, so now I wanna start blending out that dark purple. So I'm gonna take Hold Me, this beautiful pastel lavender. I'm gonna take a different Blend Bunny B5 brush. 
This one is clean. Again, I bought multiples of these brushes for this reason. Oh my gosh, I just already love it. I don't know how she did it, but she just made her mattes so insanely blendable. The hype is definitely real with this brand. I was a little late trying them. I didn't try her first palette right off the bat, but then when Serge came out, I fell in love with it. And then she did send me the blends after I fell in love with Serge. And the shadows are just amazing. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. They literally blend with such ease. I'm gonna quickly just take a little bit more of figure, that very first shade I had, because I wanna make sure it's still very prominent in the front half of my crease. And now I'm gonna deepen things up a little bit more. I'm gonna take Plume, this very dark purple. With this, I'm using a Blend Bunny B2 brush, and I'm just gonna stamp this in the outer corner of my eye and in the very, very, very base of my crease. I'm not gonna take this up very high or very far. I wanna keep it very concentrated right there. And I will smudge just the tiniest bit in the very, very outer corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna kinda just go up the gradient again. I'm taking that B4 brush with that medium purple just to very softly blend at the edge here. I'm holding the very end of my brush that I'm using light pressure. I don't want this to get out of control. And then I'm gonna take Hold Me, that lavendery shade on my bigger fluffy brush to work it on the outer corners here as well. Okay, I am loving this color combo. I think it's really pretty. We're gonna get on to the Cut Crazy stuff now. I think I wanna use literally three shades because that's just what I feel like doing. I'm gonna start first with lace. I really want that to be a prominent spotlight. You know what, actually, actually I wanna do something really quick. Me clean off one of my other brushes. <laughs> I'm gonna take this Blend Bunny B3 really quick, and I think I wanna take Madam right here. Goodness, I'm throwing this palette around. I feel like as much as I love this green crease, I wanna deepen it a little bit. I want a little more depth. So I'm just gonna quickly add this in here and then just blend it out with that figure shade again. Cause I do want figure to be very prominent, but I just feel like I need a little more shadowiness, yeah. You see, I love that. Just gonna take figure right here, blend that out some more so it's soft. Yeah, I think that was a good idea, especially because when I put the cut crease down, it's gonna pop a lot more than just leaving it light like I did here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer to just kind of prep my base before I go in with that first shimmer. I'm just gonna use my Spectrum A16 brush. I just want something small and flat and I'm gonna smear this glitter primer across my lid. I use the glitter glue with every shimmer ever. Um, it helps everything pop really nicely and also stick to my base really well. So I'm just kind of pretending to draw a half cut crease here. I'm going slightly above my natural crease and just following the roundness of my eyeball. And I'm stopping it right where those purples are really deepening in the outer corner. Okay, so now on that same sticky brush, I'm taking Lace, that shimmery white that I showed you. I just want this to be focused right at the edge of this cut, just to give a nice, bright, shiny kind of reflect. I'm just taking a little bit at a time so it doesn't get everywhere. That shade is so pretty. I almost wore that as my face highlight today, but I really wanted to play with that pink. Okay, so now I wanna take Imaginary right here. And I'm just gonna take the clean side of that same brush. And this shade, I basically just want to be on this half of the underneath of the white. You will see what I mean. Oh, that's pretty. I basically want just I don't know, all the colors on my face today. So I'm just packing it slowly, going to about the halfway point of this lid because I want out here to be very deep. Well, maybe I'll say like two thirds because I want the depth to really be dark in the outer area. I don't want it to just be a half. So I'm taking it about two thirds of the way across and I'm just trying to make it to where it kind of flows with that white really nicely because I do want the white to be a pretty prominent pop but I also want it to be kind of blended in with the purple. You know what, actually, I think I'm just gonna do my diagonal thing like I usually do. Normally when I do multiple shimmers, I stack them this way, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna take the purple following this. So just this lower corner is gonna be blank for now. I told you I had kind of an idea of what I wanted to do, but I wasn't totally sure. I'm just having fun today. Okay, so I'm loving this. I love these purples. I love the pop of white right at the cut. We're gonna add our darkest shade now, which is gonna be Harlequin right there. I'm just gonna take this old ColourPop pencil brush, this E5. Um, I just wanted something kind of small and dense so that I can just 
fill in this spot right here. Just kind of tucking it in this corner so I can have more depth in this outer area. And it'll be a nice transition to kind of blend the shimmer purple into my mattes. It's gonna be really pretty. And I'll kind of just take my brush that I have with the lighter purple just to kind of tippy tap over it, make sure it's all blended together. Okay, next I do want to bring that green in a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna take the shimmer green down here. Again, just on another random pencil brush. This one's from Alter Ego. I just want to pop this in the front part of my lower lash line just so that that green can really tie in with what's going on in the crease up top. And I love that. I think that little addition was a great idea. And for the inner corner, I think we should just use pretend, match my face highlight, you know? The white would look good too, but I think this little pop of pink here will just tie in with my look as a whole really nicely. I love that kind of pop of pinkiness against these dingy greens. That's so pretty. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish up this look. I'm gonna throw on my lashes and eye pencil and something on my lips and I'll be back when I'm complete. Okay, here's my look complete. I'm obsessed with how it came out. I love how these tones play together. This was such a fun look to do and I'm so inspired to keep playing with this palette. The lashes I threw on are Deadly Nightshade from Salem Cosmetics. My eye pencil I went with is called Wildcat from ColourPop. I just thought this kind of metallic, yellowy olive color would go really nicely with the greens that I put in. And on my lips, I went with the e.l.f. Uh, soft Pink lip liner. It's the new one that's kind of triangle shaped like that. I like it so far. And the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in Basic Beige. I don't really consider this beige, but it is a really pretty color. I wanted to do kind of a pinky lip to go with my pinky cheeks, and I love how it turned out. I really like this lip formula too, by the way. It's very soft and very lightweight and comfortable. So yeah, this is the look. Let's zoom out and I will give you my thoughts so far on the palette. All right, so that is it. This was my look. I hope you enjoyed my video playing with this palette. Um, again, I think you already know how I feel about this so far, but I guess I'll just kind of give you the rundown. Let's see, out of the shimmers, we played with one, two, three, four. They're all beautiful, twinkly, metallic, wet looking. I love them. They are so pretty and easy to use. They're kind of that like, chunkier texture if you were to like grab it with your finger, but it blends so smooth on the lid. And that's like one of my favorite kinds of textures. I don't know if that's a good description. That's the best I got for you. And the mattes are so pretty. Let's see, I played with one, technically two, cause this was a blush, technically three, cause this was also a blush, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the mattes. We played with a lot of shadows today, my goodness. We played with almost half of this palette. <laughs> Everything blended like a dream, as I expected, because that's how it is with her other palettes as well. They just blend with such ease, and her blending brushes make it even better. Love her brush set so much. I'm very pleased with this. Of course, I don't have like a full 30 pan review yet because I've only just begun using this, but I'm really excited to keep playing with this. I am so inspired by these colors. I think she knocked it out of the water with this color story. It is so unique and I'm so excited about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you pick this one up? Do you wanna pick it up? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Let me know if you've tried this brand before in general. If you made it to the end of this video, I guess, it's called the dollhouse palette. Leave me emojis that make you think of a dollhouse, whatever that means to you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I post most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.